Welcome to the sonometer video. In exercise one, we'll be finding the resonant frequencies of a guitar string in order to find the wave velocity. First, weigh the hooked mass you'll be using to apply tension to the guitar string. Hang the mass from the tensioner. Use string to keep the mass close to the ground for safety reasons. Choose a guitar string and attach it to the device as shown. Tighten the thumb screw until the tensioner is parallel to the floor. Insert the bridges as shown, approximately 60 centimeters apart. Insert the driver coil about 5 centimeters away from one of the bridges. Insert the detector somewhere in the middle. Note that you may need to move it around either to get enough signal or to avoid the guitar string hitting it. Increase the output frequency of the function generator until you hit one of the resonant modes. Each of these modes will occur when the amplitude of the signal displayed on the oscilloscope hits a local maximum. Although the manual says to begin with the fundamental frequency, it may be easier to start with n equals 2, where you can see a node. Again, you may need to move the detector around a bit. You should also try moving the driver around to see if there is an effect on the fundamental frequency. Connect the output of the function generator into the second channel of the oscilloscope so that you can see both traces at once and determine whether the vibrating frequency is the same as the driving frequency or a multiple thereof. In exercise two, we'll be observing the effect that changing tension has on a specific resonant frequency. Change the tension by moving the mass to a different slot on the tensioner. Pick a particular harmonic and measure its new frequency at each possible tension. Be sure to re-level the tensioner each time. In exercise 3, we'll be changing the length of the wire and observing the effect on the particular harmonic. Change the effective length of the string by moving one or both of the bridges. Again, pick a particular harmonic and measure its new resonant frequency at several different effective string lengths. Make sure to get enough points to construct a reasonable graph. In exercise 4, we'll be changing the mass density by using different guitar strings. Remove the first guitar string and repeat exercises 1, 2, and 3 for all other available string thicknesses. Thanks for watching the sonometer video. And remember, don't fret if you have trouble with this lab. There's no need for tension. Or is there? <laughs>